Good morning. Good morning, guys. So now that the coffee has set in a little bit, I'm awake, kind of. Got only maybe five hours of sleep last night. <laughs> Party too hard. Yeah, we stayed up a little. You can hear it in my voice from my uh, singing, dancing, yelling for prizes. <clears throat> yeah, a little raspy this morning, eh? So we did go to the Neon Glow party last night. Yep. And, and the show, Journey. The Journey. The so, Journey, yeah. yeah. And the, the show was really good. Um, I really think all the dancers and singers were phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, and then the Glow party, it was, it was all right. Yeah. You know, my honest opinion, even the show, the singers and dancers, they were phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't my type of show. Like I liked it. It wasn't bad. I'm not yeah. saying it was bad. It's just, yeah, you know, you like what you like. And it's not one of the things I was a fan of. Mm -hmm. You know me. I love my Irish music and everything and love some good dancing. So that was all there. So that was cool. But, yeah. And then the goal party. What's your thoughts on the goal party? The party was okay. The music was interesting. Not my kind of music, so. Yeah, well, I mean, I agree. Not my kind of music, but think about what they're catering to. They're catering to everybody from everywhere. Yeah. You know, and it's a family party, too. Yeah. So even the little ones were in there dancing and having fun. So looking at it through those lenses, it was a good time. Mm-hmm. But if you're looking to go get down and like an old school rave up in there and some glow party, nah, that's not the party scene for you. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I know some people were like all out. They went all oh, out. Oh, yeah. There are some people that thought it was like 1999 all over again, <laughs> you know, but more power to them. That's cool. You know, they made for a good time and, you know, we'll post some uh, some of the footage that we took in there. Got some good shots of the dancers. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yeah. The, the staff, they were great. They... Yeah, Turn up the music a little bit. They hyped it up. <clears throat> totally. All right. Well, we tried to do our recap outside, but the weather came in and it started raining. It's and kind of cool seeing that fog roll in pretty quick and all mm -hmm. of a sudden it started raining. Yeah, that was pretty neat. So we moved this inside. So for um, today, we're going to take it easy at Ocean K. Um, hopefully we'll get a good you know walk around some footage but we have a couple of days here so we're gonna try to do a um tour of the island maybe tomorrow and there we do have a few favorite spots on ocean k that we want to share with you guys so hopefully we'll get that if the weather permits yeah all right but we are gonna enjoy some more coffee yeah. and then show you guys what it's like outside So, all right guys, so something that I've caught on Facebook and a few posts, maybe even a couple videos, is people have been asking about the lagoon and the nets allowing different fish or, you know, predators into the water and whatnot. So one thing I want to show you real quick is there's the ocean out there. You got your first net here, right? And then just on the other side of the bridge, you have another line. And so, check it out. There's the people. So you got like a double layer of protection from the elements of the ocean. If you still want to go swim in the ocean, which you can do so, but if you want to be out of it a little bit and make sure that you and your little ones are, are safe and don't have anything to worry about, Lagoon is perfectly safe. Going on a walk with us down, call it Ocean K Ave. Huh? Right. So something that we noticed while we 
were walking earlier today is when they shut down the um, the island for a little bit back in May, I believe they actually ended up making a um, utility path, right, for their vehicles. Because when we came in February, we shared one of the same paths. Yeah. So I believe they created a whole new drive, um, little roadway for themselves, closer to the ship side. So we're on the other far end side. I mean, they still do lift carts and stuff on the walkway, but mm -hmm. they do also have the other expressway. Yep. So for the vehicle. Right. So. Which was really good because. It is, it's more beach goer friendly, we'll mm -hmm. say. And also work up from there too, because they got to get around. They got to hustle. Yeah, because when we were here in February, we always felt like we were in their way, which we were. We were always in their way. One of us is. <laughs> we're determined to get taken out by this guy. Did you all see that earlier? I don't, I don't think you guys saw. Earlier, I was <laughs> acting like a space Lifeguard. cadet. And this poor guy, he was trying to avoid me. And I just was like, Durr! and just kept walking towards him and almost got creamed by a guy on a bike. Look at the me. The lifeguard on a bicycle. Yeah. You almost got ran over. Look at me. I avoid the carts, but I get hit by a bicycle. Now that takes skills. Hola. <laughs> That's right. Walking with my baby in paradise. I don't get no better than this. Oh, here comes the cart. Oh, hey, we're on their path. See? We're on their path. Oh, uh, didn't we just get proven wrong, guys? So this is what we're talking about right here. We were on their path. So this right here this that is we're on. This is our path. This is, pedestrian. this is a new path. I'm pretty positive that it, this wasn't here. When we were here in February, there's a pedestrian path that we're on. We just came off of the path right over there. That is the original path. And that is for all the workers and their golf carts, go-karts, their little tram systems. Um, so, you know, it, it's good to separate the two because when people walk, which kind of like us, <laughs> we don't really look at where Pay we're going. much attention, yeah. And so, because of that, they separated everybody. It's a good job to MSC for thinking about safety for workers and for the vacationers. Ocean K is really, really pretty today. Yeah, nice, beautiful day. Yeah, we've got, looks like the weather coming in behind us. So hopefully we get a couple of hours out here before it starts raining, if it does.
All, All right. right. <coughs> Take two. So funny fact, right? Funny fact, it helps to plug in all of your equipment before you start recording. Right, because we were so worried to get the, the dead cat on our microphone, but we didn't, you know, but we plug forgot. in all the other components. So we did do a take one, so this is take two. Yeah. Um, take one was okay, but it was extremely windy. And I know some of y'all will come after us for it being windy. So we're doing this all over again. Right. But Ooh. as I was saying earlier, That's she's a beaut, Clark. That she is, Eddie. That she is. <laughs> so, hey, let's just talk it up and uh, take it in the bloopers reel. How about that? Right. Still being fondled by the palm tree. <laughs> all right, guys. We are coming to you from Ocean, Ocean K. K. Yeah, baby. MSE Seashore's private island in the Bahamas. Even though earlier, four minutes ago, you said we weren't going to the Bahamas. But we're in the Bahamas. Hey, in my defense, I consider this its own island, its own entity, its own thing. I mean, it's MSE's island. It's right. Ocean Cave by MSE. <laughs> it's part of the Bahamas. Hey, hey. I'm an alcoholic. What can I say? So we were been, we've been out here for probably two to three hours. We did go snorkeling. Yeah. Um, we did get a whole bunch of footage. Hopefully the footage was is going to be okay. Yeah, um, it I wasn't, think so. It wasn't so sunny. Water was a little murky though. Right. It, you know, a little we, dusty. Yeah, we saw a whole bunch of fish. Um, black and white zebra looking. I'm not a fish person, so I don't know what it is. It's you know, probably called a zebra fish. And you know my favorite color, blue. I did see a couple blue fish and I tried to chase them a little bit on the camera for you. So right. hopefully that came through pretty cool. Yeah. And some big ones, I don't even know what they're called. Yeah. Uh, I suppose we should learn what the fish of our, our backyard are. Right, so. maybe somebody that's watching will be able to tell us what some of the fish what they're called yeah hopefully they came through nice and clear so yeah. you can help us determine what they are so. so we are hopefully gonna go get some gelato okay um you know every are single we time, sure? I don't, time i don't know every time we've been Positive? on i don't know every time we've been on a cruise this year and we've been on this is the sixth cruise in like 10 months Every yeah. single day, we've said we're gonna go get gelato, but we we don't. Not because you know, it's just. It's not that I don't offer. It's this one here. And every time I'm like, hey, let's get some gelato. No, not now. Well, Maybe later. Well, not know, now. Maybe later. It's an acquired taste, right? I don't even know if I what like ice cream what? really. I don't know. Like I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. I can. Who live doesn't like ice cream? I can live without ice cream. What? Ice cream is just, I don't know. Okay. I think we need to renegotiate a relationship there. If you don't like ice cream, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just teasing. It's just like you, you and you like seafood, right? You're not a huge fan of seafood. Sure I am. Same Aren't we thing. going to a seafood restaurant tonight? Right. Don't I eat sushi? Yes, but you always ask if it's fishy. You Correct. ask if I the don't fish like the is fishy. Correct. It's not gaming. But anyways, we're talking about you here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're talking about you and your ice cream issues right. here. I don't like cream. What? What's in your coffee every day? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Come again. <laughs> so here in a few minutes, we are going to go back to the ship and uh, get some gelato. We're going to do a gelato take test and. We, I will prove to you that I can eat gelato. We're gonna make a pit stop and get rum cake because uh, yeah, you always I gotta get a rum that. cake when you're in the Bahamas. Yep. Bahamas we are in the Bahamas. I just Bahamas. learned that. Bahamas. Pin drop location. <laughs> Bahamas. We're anyway, we'll heading over to the Bahamas this time. Yeah. We need to pick some up before well, we, we take off. we are in the Bahamas right now. Consider this its own thing. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're thinking of like Nassau. Correct. <laughs> Which we've been to 
several times this year. <laughs> but anyways, rum cake is one of our favorite things to get in the Bahamas because we can't get the back home. I mean, I'm sure I could probably have it shipped to us, but it's not the same. You Amazon know, it's, Prime. It's part of the experience, getting them while you're down here. So don't prime it. Don't prime it. So, all right, guys, what do you say? Should we uh, meet back up on the ship? Yes. And, uh, we are going to do maybe a, get some gelato this we're time. We're going to do a taste test of gelatos. I'm going to get five different kinds. I'm going to taste all of them. Um, all right. If she doesn't do it, you guys hold her feet to the fire. OK. Yeah. I just feel like my stomach would be like immediately. No, no. You are with like, no, like cheap ice cream. Like when you get like grandma's gallon pal, that's like like 10 bucks from like Walmart or the grocery store. Your stomach doesn't like that Did stuff. Did you just say that? I'm like a cheap <laughs> No, no. But when we get the bougie ice cream, say we go to the place in our neighborhood that's like $15 a cup, you're like, oh, this is good. I like it. And everything's fine. Hmm? To be determined, huh? Well, yeah. Anyways, let's head back to All the right. ship. We're going to get some ice cream and... Uh, we will eat some ice cream. You got it, guys. All right, time to get out of the sun a little bit. We still have six more days of uh, hanging out in the sun and fun, and we will uh, be back. All right, till next time. Oh, look! I love you! Aww. <laughs>